Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we're gonna be setting up my 2022 bullet journal. So very exciting. I'm not gonna go on about how crazy it is that it's 2022, but I will go ahead and say that this is gonna be my third year bullet journaling and I'm excited to share it with you. Out of the three years I have been bullet journaling, this is actually probably the simplest setup I have mostly because it's also the most amount of pages that I needed to set up. I use my bullet journal for lots of planning and especially for my business and I have lots of different pieces to my business. So I have more than one YouTube channel, I have blogs, I have products that I create, I have just so much going on that I really rely on the pages of my bullet journal to help me kind of just keep track of everything. This year I'm using this pink Archer and Olive bullet journal. It has 160 pages, so I'm a little bit worried that it's not going to be quite enough, but it was just so pretty with the gold leaves and I love it. I do not use my bullet journal for daily pages. I do that in a planner instead, so that does help me to save some pages. And so I typically only use one bullet journal in the year. I'm starting out with just this like 2022 title page and I started with these like big block numbers and so one thing you can tell is I did use pencil first I do this mostly because then I have less to kind of figure out on camera with you but also because it's really helpful to just kind of get a layout and know what you want to do before you go in with all of the markers and stuff like that um, it's especially helpful because I have gone through and changed a lot of things so you'll see some pages have like something written on them and then something completely different written on them and I will end up changing a lot and so that's been really helpful to have I did the pencil sketch a few days ago and so I was able to like really think through like what I had forgotten and things I wanted to add and so it was really handy. For these um, numbers I am using the Tombow Fudenowski lettering pen and then also my um pit pens that are from faber castell i'm using a medium and a small all throughout and then i'm using just this one tombow dual tip brush pen the pink one to go along with it so i use the pink around the edge and i did add a little quote at the bottom i wanted to add a little more pink so i was trying to decide if that was gonna look okay and i i decided not to so we just went with the black and white and with a little bit of pink Anyway, um, the quote on the bottom says, you must find happiness right where you are. It is from Moana. I feel like that's kind of a weird quote to add into your bullet journal, but it, I feel like is really inspirational because it really reminds you to not wait for happiness. You know, as I'm a teacher, so oftentimes teachers will be like, oh, you know, I'm going to be great as soon as school lets out or things like that, like kind of waiting around for breaks and waiting for this to happen, waiting for that to happen in order to be happy. And so this is just a nice quote to remind me like, let's be happy right now. The next page I'm setting up is my future log. So this is where you can just write down things that are happening throughout the year. Since I do use quarterly planners, this is helpful because it only shows one quarter. And so this is a way to show my whole year. So I use the Tombow Fudenowski pen at the top and then the same pit pen for the little decorations and also for these month words and then the pink Tombow dual tip brush pen on the brush pen side and just used it like as normal for the background so that I have like the words over top of the letters for each month. Now comes one of the harder parts of every setup, and that is putting all of the little monthly calendars on there so that when I need to figure out, you know, what day a month starts on and things like that, I can just easily flip to that and it's just like nice and easy to see all the dates. Now for this, some people like actually go and write them out, but I do not because that sounds horrible. So instead I use these stamps. I got them off Amazon. I'll link them down below. And so they're just rubber stamps that go onto my little like stamper block. And you have to be very, very careful <laughs> because sometimes this makes a giant mess. So as soon as I was done with this, I went and washed my hands so that it wouldn't get black ink everywhere. Um, a little thing about them is that it's hard when they don't have 31 days in the month because typically it just goes to 31. Um, and so I just let it go to 31 and I just know which months don't have 31 days. But in the past I have used like a marker instead of a stamp block and like colored in the correct amount of days so that that didn't happen. 
On the next page, this is gonna be really simple. It just says big scary goals in the middle and I just added a little border around it. And this page is gonna be for my like big long-term things that are coming way long in the future, um, but are not anywhere near coming to fruition yet. I like to start with the long-term things so I remember what I'm working towards, even as I, you know, I'm making baby steps towards that this year. So the next page is all about this year's goals, and I went ahead and cut off the top to make this little Dutch door thing. I just use a scissors to cut them off. And so on here, I am breaking down my goals. So I have my main goals, and then on the other side, I put intentions. These are things like, I know this year I want to do things like clean the kitchen before I go to bed. It's not really a goal, but it's just something I want to do. So I'm going to call that intentions. Um, and then I have a section for each of the different pieces of my business for personal, for finance, and just lots of different things, breaking it down so that I can have a really good plan and just, you know, make sure I'm intentional in each different area of my life. After that, we're going to a quarterly planner. So this just has four boxes and it just says quarter one, two, three, and four. And then on here, I have like focus and then actions underneath that so that I can write down like my top things for each quarter and then things that I wanna do, you know, to support those. Then I went through and added the months. You can see that I um, messed up quarter three and was having a really hard time figuring out how to unmess it up and eventually just glued a piece of paper down which maybe wasn't the best idea but you know what that's that's what happens so that's where we are and that way I can put some little um, actions for each different month next to the quarterly plan the next one is going to be for like routines and things that need to happen sometimes so things that weekly, monthly, quarterly, and then just every once in a while so things like I need to scrub my email list and that's just one of those you know random things. I think I'll do that probably once a quarter and so I can write that down and even make little check marks for those things. I flipped through and this is actually a new day because I was like, let's see how many pages we have left and it was a lot. So um, this is the next day. I am starting on my planning sheets for each portion of my business. So this one stands for Rebecca's Music Room, which is my Teachers Pay Teachers shop, my blog, my YouTube channel, all that stuff. And so I have like a section for my plan, a section to come up with content ideas. So YouTube videos, blog posts, that kind of stuff. And then a section for product ideas. And then same thing for my Becca's Bible class. I'm um, just setting it up there so that I can see all the different ideas that I've got going on. And I set all of these pages up exactly the same. So I just made boxes and then used the brush part of the brush pens to make like a larger stripe at the top for my title. I used a lot of that eraser in this one. The next one is the exact same thing and this is gonna be for my um, YouTube channel, my Becca Davis, that talks all about teachers pay teachers stuff. And so on here, um, same thing, I have my plan and then I think I have, I don't remember what I called the other ones. Let's find out. Oh, I didn't call them anything apparently. I just flipped to the next page. So this is for this YouTube channel that we are currently on. And so on here, I don't have products, but I figured I can do ideas and then just, um, or my plan and then just like ideas for content and things that I would like to do. So I just have ideas and then content in case I come up with ideas that are not content. We shall see how this year unfolds. The next page is a blog post planner. So I have two blogs, one for Becca's Music Room and one for Becca's Bible Class. At the moment, I'm doing both of them every other week. And so I'm actually alternating, which has been kind of nice. So that one week a music blog comes out and the next week a Bible blog comes out. For my blog post planner, I literally just write down each of the dates that I am going to post a blog this year, and then I'll probably extend it past this year because I have a little more room on the space, nope, space on the page when this is over. And so, yeah, you can see there's like almost a half a page right there. And so one side's gonna be for Becca's music room stuff, and the other side's gonna be for Becca's Bible class stuff. And I'll just write the title of each blog there, and then once I have written it, it'll get a check, and then once it is completely ready to go, it'll get a second check, and that's how I know that it is 100% ready to go, and we can move on. The next page may seem random, but I literally just titled it Fun Stuff, and added this little decorative border that I've been adding 
to pretty much everything this is a really simple doodle and if you want your bullet journal to look really consistent even if you don't have lots of ideas just pick one or two little doodles and just do them you know over and over and over again and same thing with like pens and fonts and colors and that kind of stuff just pick one or two and then it's a lot easier they all look like they go together so same thing I did that like little pink border around this page is for um, things that are not goals but things I would like to do that I need to do to like you know remember to do fun things because y'all know I'm a workaholic and so sometimes I need to be reminded to do fun things so <laughs> things that will go on there are things like I want to um, work in my garden this year and I want there's like a jazz um, place downtown I want to go to and stuff like that so the next page is a gift wish a gift list and a wish list so that as I get ideas for gifts for other people or things that I would like um, either for myself to purchase or other people to purchase for me then I can write them there so pretty simple the next page that I am currently on is my book reading tracker so typically I print these out because I actually have in my um, Becca's Bible class TBT shop little like bookshelf pages so I will link those down below there's all the books of the Bible on there and then also blank ones so I usually use the blank ones and then also the book of the Bible ones but my printer has been acting up so instead on this one I just decided to draw it this year so I added these little like bookshelves and then I can add books as I am reading I also went ahead and titled them so I can kind of put like you know all the money books together all the business books together books of the Bible that kind of stuff and at the bottom I put each of the months of the year and so I think I'm going to color code them this year so that like all the books that I read in January are going to be blue um like thought the last year as I was coloring them I was like man I would like to know you know when I read each of these so I thought that would be fun to try this year and so I wrote the names of each month so that I can just you know highlight January in blue and then color each one in with blue this next page is for home improvements. There's a lot of like little things I would like to do to our house this year. And this was a super easy one to set up. Um, so I just have a little like pretend little rooms that I can write down, you know, things I want to do. So like organize the pantry or I need a hat rack for my closet. So I can put that in our closet. The next page is for vacation planners. I currently have nothing on here because I don't know what our plans are, but I'm going to um, sit down with my husband this weekend actually and kind of nail that stuff out and speaking of vacations and you know money well, the next slide the next page is a budget tracker so I did the same little Dutch door where I cut the top off of one sheet so that that way they're like it's just kind of like a bigger spread and put different lines to make three months worth on each page and then cut that in half. So the reason I'm doing that is that in one half I can put in my income so I can write down like, okay, I made this much on YouTube and this much on TPT and that kind of stuff. And then on the other side, I can write down the budget of like, okay, you know, I'm paying this much to our like household finances and putting this much towards vacations and this much towards um, getting a new car this year and like stuff like that so that I can just kind of keep track. And then at the bottom I put the quarter totals for each one and then also year to date so when i'm like in quarter three then i can write down how much i made in quarter three and then how much that is from the beginning of the year through the end of quarter three so really simple i didn't add anything in here so that i can pretty much just you know do whatever i need to do each month and the next one is also a money one so i have two things i want to pay off this year one is a credit card the other is my student loans so this is just a simple little tracker to help me figure that out. So I'm just going to like color it in as I pay them off. And then on the other side, I have savings because again, I mentioned, I think my, my car is going to be 15 this year. So I'm anticipating that I might need a car fund. So one's going to be the car fund. And then the other is, um, for just some other, like my more long-term savings, kind of my like just in case um so I can just again fill those in as I do those this page is for my investing stuff so I do most of my investing stuff like online in like a spreadsheet but I thought this was a good way to just kind of keep track a little bit so I made four boxes in here and so these are education so podcasts and books to read and stuff like that to learn more about investing because I'm just starting um, ideas are companies I would like to look into the watch list is companies that I would like to purchase if they get to a certain price. And then the last one is things that I actually have purchased so I can fill those in this year. So now we're just going to do a little flip through so you can see everything 
back to back to back. I didn't do a lot this year as far as like decor and stuff. The last few years were a lot more intense. I'll link them down below. But I actually really liked the simplicity, especially since, again, I have so many pages. I feel like most people do not have this many pages at the beginning of their notebooks. But this is what works for me because I really use this all throughout the year to make sure that I, you know, am staying on track and planning and I have ideas and I just have everything in this one notebook, which makes life really easy. So that, you know, that's that's what I got. I went through the last two years and did not add anything into this one that I was not using in those so that I could just keep on top. I would love to know what your favorite spreads are and maybe spreads that you hadn't thought of but you would now like to do so leave those down in the comments and let me know if you're bullet journaling and what your theme or decor is for yours because I'm very very curious. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye! Mm -hmm.